Bless all the pure in heart, for they shall see our God. The secret of the Lord is this, that soul is Christ above. The Lord who left the heavens, our life and peace to Today, the Church celebrates the feast of Saint Monica, born at Tagaste, which is in present-day Algeria, in the fourth century. Saint Monica was the mother of Saint Augustine, one of the most influential thinkers in the Church of all times, and not only did her life and prayers lead to her husband's and her mother-in-law's conversion, but also to the conversion of her wayward son, Augustine. There are today many wives and many mothers who shed tears and offer up prayers for the conversion of their husbands and children. We example of St. Monica is surely a source of encouragement and inspiration. Her life reassures us that God hears our prayers. The tears and the prayers of a mother and wife do not go unanswered. A bishop once told the St. Monica the child of those tears shall never perish. She never forgot those words, remaining always close to her son and praying and fasting for him. And may she help us all to persevere in our prayer. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by asking I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary and the Virgin all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O God, who console the sorrowful and who mercy 
mercifully accepted the motherly tears of St. Monica for the conversion of her son, Augustine. Grant us, through the intercession of them both, that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, called by the will of God to be an apostle of Christ Jesus, and our brother Sosthenes, to the church of God which is at Corinth, to those sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints together with all those who in every place call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, both their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to God always for you because of the grace of God which was given you in Christ Jesus that in every way you were enriched in him with all speech and all knowledge even as the testimony to Christ was conferred among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ who will sustain you to the end guiltless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, by whom you were called into the French, into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless your name, O Lord, Forever. I will bless your name, O Lord, forever. I will bless you day after day and praise your name forever and ever. The Lord is great and highly to be praised. His greatness cannot be measured. I will bless your name forever. Age to age shall proclaim your works shall declare your mighty deeds. They will tell of your great glory and splendor and recount your wonderful works. I will bless your name forever. They will speak of your awesome deeds, recount your greatness and might. They will recall your abundant goodness and sing of your just deeds with joy. I will bless your name forever. Alleluia. expect. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Watch, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the householder had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have watched and would not have let his house be broken into. 
Therefore you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the appointed time? Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Truly, I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that wicked servant says to himself, My master is delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants, and eats and drinks with the drunken, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour he does not know, and will punish him, and put him with the hypocrites. There men will weep and gnash their teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, the two parables, that of the thief who comes in the middle of the night and that of the householder who returns unexpectedly and who rejoices to find his servant at work, call us to vigilance, to watchfulness. Perhaps we don't often think of the glorious coming of the Lord, of his return, of our face-to-face -face encounter with him, when each of us will have to give an account of his life and actions. This passage of the Gospel reminds us that if we forget this, then we risk leading disordered lives disoriented lives, lives without aim and without a sense of responsibility. Watch, for you do not know the day, says Jesus. We have to know then how to keep awake, how to be watchful, how to be vigilant in our lives. We find it difficult to be aware of the Lord all the time because so many other things fill our minds and hearts. A regular prayer book, daily reading of God's Word, the putting into practice of that Word, the regular celebration of the sacraments are all ways and means of cultivating a watchfulness of vigilance, which is free of anxiety, without fear and worry, and of developing a sense of the loving presence of God in our lives, and awakening with us a desire for Him. Who then is the faithful and wise servant, whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time, asks the Lord. We are entrusted to each other by the Lord. We have received from him the charge of nourishing one another, that is, of being attentive to one another's needs. Our, awaiting the Lord's return is translated into love for all those who have been entrusted as to us by him, by the Master whose return we await. God expects to find us acting as good and wise servants, sharing with others what we have received, looking after one another's needs, treating each other with love and respect. Readiness is measured by people consistently carrying out their responsibilities. The wisest ones are those who 
consistently try to seek and serve the Lord in everyday life. So we pray this evening in a special way for this watchfulness and this vigilance in our daily lives. Brothers and sisters, we are called to be watchful in prayer at all times, with trust and confidence. Let us pray to God for all our needs. Let us pray that we may take to heart the warning to be always watchful for the coming of the day of the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray for the grace to be faithful servants of the Lord, attentive to our daily duties and working to the best of our abilities. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray for a greater sense of honesty in public life, that we may in no way conceive, condone stealing, robbery, corruption, as acceptable in our society. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray for the gift of temperance. We pray for all who are victims of alcoholism, for their families and friends. And we pray for all who educate the young to the dangers of drug abuse. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, we are the people you have chosen as your own, and we give thanks. Be our protection and our help at all times, through the saving merits of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We bring you these sacrificial gifts, O Lord, to commemorate St. Monica, humbly entreating that they may bestow on us both pardon and salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, 
Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Alleluia, 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 God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. together with Francis our Pope and Abula our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary Mother of God, with blessed Joseph the spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you 
through your Son, Jesus Christ. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the working of this divine sacrament enlighten and inflame us, Almighty God, on this feast day of Blessed St. Monica, that we may be ever fervent with holy desires and abound in good works. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Saint, Saint Michael the Archangel, defend <coughs> us in the hour of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, the Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. So to the lowly soul, he doth himself impart, and for his wedding at his throne, chooseth the pure in heart. Lord, we thy presence seek, may pass this blessing. Oh, me.